How do you vlog about a largely unfilmable experience? We're about to find out. The week between Christmas and New Year's, I spent some time in what I like to call Holy Orthodox Western Pennsylvania, this weird conglomeration of old-time Slavs hanging out by Pittsburgh and people who happened to buy up cheap land while they could and now have conference centers out there, with Arabs and Greeks and Russians and Romanians and etc., as well as Wasos. Waso being an abbreviation for white Anglo-Saxon Orthodox. It's a thing I promise. And yes, to be perfectly frank, we college students did spend a lot of time in church. And we also spent a lot of time in this church. I don't have a lot of better footage because I spent most of my time up in the front singing, which compromised both my audio and my video capabilities. But it's quite extraordinary to have this many college students together in a room singing the same kind of weird churchy music. It's invigorating. Do you remember the band Lulu May that I vlogged about several months ago? They are coming out with like an actual album in about a month, and they sang at this conference, and just listen. <laughs> When Joel was introducing himself and Sarah, he said, I apologize if my guitar's out of tune, but life's out of tune. Your Flannery O'Connor detectors should be going off right now. The keynote speaker was a diocesan bishop who stayed up until one in the morning several nights in a row to, to talk to college students? I mean, who does that? And of course, there was crazy fans Arab dancing. And crazy pants Greek dancing. And dancing to copyright protected American music and more Arab dancing. Inevitably, the Russian music didn't get emailed right, so we wallowed in our suffering. It was very comfortable for us as Russians. We spent some time praying at the grave of St. Raphael of Brooklyn. Our wonderful Greek-trained Arab saint who was sent by Russians to set up a bunch of churches in America. I like him a lot for obvious reasons. And then onward through the wilds of western Pennsylvania with my friend Philip and a sleeping liturgy nerd named Manoli. Buffett, Munsat 11-1, S650W drink. Because there's this crowd of like several dozen twenty-somethings who spends every New Year's at this women's monastery up in northwestern Pennsylvania. And we sang Romanian Christmas carols. <laughs> And we spent some time in chapel. And we rang bells of midnight, just like I did last year, and there's nowhere I'd rather be. Then onward back home to Northern Maryland, as we passed the Flight 93 Memorial Field from September 11th, I wondered why exactly people choose to go on pilgrimages, and more broadly speaking, why travel is still important. I remember talking to Scott about this back in Spain when we went to Montserrat in Catalonia. I think it's got something to do with the fact that no matter how close we become, space still isn't interchangeable. There are still special things about locations that drive us to them. Location is still special and differentiated, and that's important for the human experience. What else is going on in my life? I obtained a cheaper starter mandolin. Everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. Everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. I don't have a case for it, so it's probably not coming to school with me, but I like it. Ivan Stantinople is still a thing. There's going to be a link in the doobly-doo, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, find out what Ivan Stantinople is. I hope to see many of you next week at the Tour de Nerdfighting stop in Bethesda, and I love you very much, and take care.